I think that the overseas media has hyped the situation way out of proportion. Um, many overseas stations that I've been watching have been comparing this to Chernobyl. And if you listen to actual nuclear reactor specialists, people who build these things, they will tell you that the design is completely different. This thing is made so that even if there is a meltdown, it can be contained. What they're trying to do is to prevent the meltdown. They, they, they may have already had a partial meltdown, but they're trying to prevent a complete meltdown at this point. And the only areas that will really be affected is the immediate area around the plant. Tokyo is actually under almost no threat of radiation. So all of the various governments and the overseas media who have been saying that uh, you know Japan is going to fall off a cliff are obviously wrong. Now, what about the Japanese media as well? Because, of course, it's hard to know just how dangerous this plant is right now. And, and there, have, there have been some accusations that, that Japan isn't giving enough information about what's going on. Well, the Japanese government and, of course, Tokyo Electric and Tohoku Electric, the large electric companies which own these plants, um, they have had some missteps and there has been some poor communication. Um, they, they, they need a very, uh, I think they need a beefed up PR department because their spokesmen have not done a very good job. That said, the Japanese government, considering the scale of the disaster in North Japan, I think has put together a pretty good team of people who are actually, um, not doing too badly, con you know, considering how bad it is. Nobody was prepared for a 9.0 magnitude earthquake and then the you know, the uh, tsunami thereafter. Um, I, I deal with a lot of government people and I, you know, I know their weaknesses and I know that the Japanese government in general has been considered very weak over the last few years with the change of prime ministers every year or so. But um, I, I know that their crisis management is much better than it was 16 years ago when the large quake hit the Kobe area. I was okay. down in that area too when that quake hit. Um, compared to that time, they're doing a much, much better job. And okay. I think the Japanese people understand that and appreciate it.